Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how you can set up Python on your Fedora OS. Um, we'll be using Visual Studio Code for today's demonstration. Um, so to get started, first let's make sure we have Python installed. So just pull up a terminal and then type in Python. And this will determine what version you're using. So it's most likely going to be for Python 3 because Python 2 isn't really supported anymore, at least on Fedora 31 and up. So now that we know that Python's installed, or if you don't have it installed, you can just install it by typing the following command, or Python 3 at the end. So now we want to install our code editor. Now you can use all kinds of code editors. So you can use gedit, which is pretty good. Um, Vim, if you're into command line. Now I'll be using Visual Studio Code because it has um, some debugging functionality and um, you can also get plugins for other languages as well to do, you know, automate things. So uh, since we're on Fedora, we'll be using RPM Package Manager. We want to go here and we want to download, we want to run these commands. So we want to add it to our repository, these two commands here, run them separately in a terminal. Now I've already done this, so I won't be doing it again. This just checks the update and then install the code editor. Now another way to install it would be if you don't want to add the repository, um, you can open up your software manager if you're using like Fedora GNOME. And if you have FlatHub installed, so FlatHub being a uh, repository for all kinds of software. As you can see, there's all kinds of software here. These are all sandboxed. Let's see when we get that code editor. Just type in code. Took a while for me. Um, you can download either one. But keep in mind that it'll be you'll run into a few quirks, such as... Um, you know, using different Python versions. Um, you won't be using the one on your system because it's sandboxed. But uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll be using uh, the official one. So once that's done, you will launch Visual Studio just by, if you're on GNOME, you'll type in just Visual Studio or code, KDE, XFCE, just open up your menu. And now you want to um, you get presented with something like this. Now to get started, we want to search, click on this icon here, and now click on Python, or search Python at least. And you want to install this. And once this is installed, it'll, it'll take a bit of time. It might uh, pull some other dependencies down uh, for this extension. Um, and then you can just open up any file. Well, I have a folder already open here. Uh, I'll pick uh, this one. So just a base, very basic Python script. And um, now there's many ways of running it really. Um, you might not have Python Lint already installed, so it might pop up with a little pop up here saying you want to install Python Lint. I would say go ahead and say yes, because you'll get um, things like syntax. Um, well, IntelliSense they call it. So well, if I remove, for instance, this and then save it, I'll get an error here saying, hey, there's a string literal error and PyLint has picked it up, syntax error. And yeah, let's fix that up. There we go. Um, now to run your scripts and whatnot, um, you can open up the built-in terminal here just by pressing Control grave or Control tilde the one next to one and um, oops. now you can just let's go into the directory first oh. section 2 right. and there you have it I'm just um, putting a domain name in there and uh, it's giving me the IP address. An alternative way is to just click on the run button. This will run it in whatever script you already have open. That's it. 
that's pretty much it um yeah so you've got you know you can do all kinds of stuff with this um you can find um you know all the available libraries you can import and yeah you just go to town from here so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching